Good morning, Algonquin. This is Mr. Messia. And Mr. Ga. With your morning news. But first, here's the Pledge of Allegiance. Good morning, Algonquin. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and remain standing for a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good Monday morning, everybody. Kicking things off by talking about the grade eight electives for 2020-21. So this message is for grade seven students. Grade seven students, you have a chance to indicate your preference for an elective for next year. This week we're going to spotlight the offerings that will be available for you for next year. And at the beginning of next week, you're going to receive a Google form from which you can select your preference order for the electives. You will not be guaranteed to receive your first preference elective. However, we do work hard to try to get you your first or second choice. In the grade eight elective spotlight, kicking things off current global issues. Current global issues is a project-based collaborative and thematic approach used for students to engage in critical thinking and discussion about issues both in the US and around the world. Since we'll learn about the concepts of culture, poverty, globalization, and the plight of refugees, human rights, environmental issues, and more. Of course, activities include mystery Skype calls, Socratic circles discussion, students created podcasts and news broadcasts, in-class debates, individual and group presentations, and more. Students will gain a better understanding of the world, the experience of its people, and the skills to continue learning long after this course is ended. Furthermore, this course will go a long way towards preparing students for a successful Regions Global Studies experience at the high school. Another scheduling announcement, this one is for grade six students interested in pre-algebra. Today is the day, at the end of the school day today, you must have registered by 2.30 p.m. to participate in the online entrance process for pre-algebra. The same is the case for those seventh graders interested in earth science. Registration ends today at 2.30 for the entrance examination process. Sign up through the email that was provided last week. What's AMS think? So we're going back to last week's um, survey. And last week's survey, the last one we did, was what's your favorite musical? And it looks like about 22% of people had a hard time picking just one favorite. So they didn't have a favorite. But a lot of people shared that Aladdin, almost 20% of people said Aladdin was their favorite. And you can tell by the graph that a lot of people uh, selected some other musicals as their favorite. So we had a great turnout, and uh, let's see what's up next. Vacation destination. Let's think about where we would like to go on vacation. What's your vacation destination? So are you someone who likes the beach, the mountains, a cruise, a theme park, camping, or a foreign city or country? So check out our Google Classroom page to be a voting member of this survey. Again, if you have a survey idea, Please email me at galaj at apcsd.org and tune in tomorrow for the survey results on where people like to vacation. I wonder what you're reading. This one coming in from Emma. Emma is reading Dear Emma. How appropriate. Emma writes, Dossie is a girl who just got back from Vermont on a fresh air fun trip. Back in New York, things are changing. Her sister got married. The kid she babysits uh, gets sick and she meets a very important person. She writes to her friend, Emma, explaining all that has happened. Emma really liked this book and recommends it to you. Check it out on Sora. Speaking of book reviews, here's one for Miss Extra. Hey, Mrs. Ekstrom here, and I wanted to share a book with you today that I read called The Crossroads by Chris Gravenstein, and it is book one of a series. This is a story about Zach Jennings. He moves from New York City to Connecticut with his father and his new stepmom, and they build a house on a big lot that has a creepy old tree on it. And you come to find out that over the years there have been different accidents, and the spirit of one of the people who died in one of these car accidents hasn't been able to move on, and the spirit inhabits the tree. And you could maybe see that there is a face on the tree, the eyes 
and the mouth. So different people in the town are linked to this tree in very strange ways and you find out more about that and then you discover that the tree wants Zach dead. This book is more than 300 pages but I felt like it went fairly fast because I really wanted to find out what happened next. Chris Gravenstein is also the author of the Mr. Lemoncello books and I think he's just fabulous. You can also find this book on Sora. Thanks for listening. Happy reading. Thanks, Ms. Ekstrom. Ms. Reinish's quote of the day. I mean Coach Earl's quote of the day. We're saying Coach Earl's quote of the day because our quote today is by Vince Lombardi, who is a legendary coach for the Green Bay Packers. The quote is, it's not whether you get knocked down, it's whether you get back up. Great quote. It's your birthday, birthday. Happy birthday, Isaac and Mr. G. Hope it's a great day, guys. Copy and a warrior today. Your AMS teachers. This is National Teacher Appreciation Week. We want to show our support for our AMS teachers and all the hard work they're doing out there in cyberspace, keeping us all connected and working hard to keep your skills up. Thank you, AMS teachers, for all that you do every day but never more than during the school closure. I couldn't agree more. Our teachers, doing, our teachers do a great job in person and they're doing a great job virtually. So we appreciate everything that they're doing this week and every week. Let's remember that school is not just a place. Make it a great day. Let's go Warriors. Before we go, we promise that this is Natural Disaster Week here with our sixth grade sponsors from Science. We're gonna turn it over to them and their natural disaster projects. And that concludes this morning's announcements. Remember, start to finish, every day, we embody the warrior way.